the father of an 18-year-old Taba Jabula secondary school pupil who was stabbed to death allegedly by a fellow learner says his child was not a bully. Sandile Fagata died in hospital on Thursday shortly after the stabbing. He is said to have been attacked by a grade 9 pupil after an altercation. Malungala Boy, another of our senior reporters, is watching that story and has been speaking to the family. Malu, when we first heard of the story, the account was that the, six, the boy was stabbed because he'd allegedly been bullied, been bullying, I should say, another pupil whose brother then intervened, but his father says his, his child was not to blame. That's right, Tembi Pindi Le Kakata says he does not know his son as a bully. In fact, he is saying that he needs an explanation as to exactly why his son was actually stabbed at a school and he wants to know how did the knife enter the school premises. He told me, Tembi Pindi, that on the morning his son left for this school, his son was very happy and he actually is saying goodbye to them and he said that he didn't know that it was in fact the last time you know he was seeing his son he said when he was called to the hospital where Sandile had in fact died he actually said that um, he did not actually believe that his son had actually lost his life in all of, of this and of course he's saying that the education department and the school actually needs to explain as to exactly what happened, Tembi? So, Malungelo, another person who's been at Tabachabula today was the Education Department spokesperson, Steve Mabona. A crucial visit because last week, parents had basically turned away a psychosocial team that had been sent there to help some of the, the pupils who witnessed the violence deal with the trauma. Well, tell me, perhaps let me tell you what we saw when we arrived here at around 6.30 this morning. We saw a group of parents who had actually accompanied their children, in fact, are here outside the school, saying that they want to make sure that learning and teaching does take place inside this particular school. And then we saw, uh, you know, the police also arriving. What they were doing is to conduct search, searching every learner that was entering the school premises. As you can also see, Tembi, that there's still some two police vehicles that are still here at this particular school. And there's also a group of parents that remains at this school. The parents have taken a decision to make sure that every day this week, They'll come at this school to ensure that there's no disruptions. Remember, at the weekend, Tembi, there was talk that, um, you know, some parents were not happy that the school had decided that um, learning would resume and that they would not allow their children to come to school and they would come and essentially just disrupt. That's why then you're seeing the police and also some parents who want learning to take place here being stationed at this particular school. And of course, the education officials have also been here to make sure that the students who we spoke to this morning, Tembekile, telling us about how traumatized about what they saw next week, they get that all important counseling they needed. Tembi? Number one, Malu, any news then from the family of the stabber, the alleged attacker on Thursday? Tell me, we haven't heard from that family at this point in time, but what we have been told, though, by authorities is that the 16-year-old grade, a nine pupil, that's the, that's the man who, that's the young boy who, in fact, has been taken to custody, is actually being kept at a place of safety until his first court appearance police yesterday we're not saying exactly when he will appear in court but we're also told though tempi that uh, on friday he was told though that uh, you know um the the, the 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 person that he had stabbed had apparently uh, passed away and he was shocked to hear that well, boy thank you very much for your reporting for now thank you